I set sail for Antarctica in early March, and like many others, I was caught up on a ship in the pandemic. This meant I spent 16 days in isolation in my cabin, and then another 14 days in a Melbourne hotel room. For me, designing a photo book is the perfect isolation project. So let's take a look at the steps involved. First, you need a theme or an idea. What's your photo book going to be all about? There are lots of options. It could be a portfolio of your best photos from 2019, a family album, or a recent holiday or a photo tour. In my case, I started with a book of my best photos from Antarctica this year. The next step is to collect all of the best photos you have that you can use in the project. Lightroom has all sorts of ways to collect and order your photos, and as a suggestion, you might like to make a new collection and drag all your potential photos there. So now you have the idea and the photos. What is the photo book going to look like? Is it going to be something large and magnificent, like my Middlehurst book? Or perhaps it's going to be something small and personal, like this book of a photo tour to Lord Howe Island. A large book might be best for some grand landscapes, while a smaller book may be more appropriate for photos of a young family. The reason I suggest you decide on the physical size of your photo book early is because it can affect the photos you choose to include and how those photos fit onto the page. For instance, if you have a horizontal or a landscape format book, it might not work very well if most of your photos are vertical or portrait orientation. And since most photographers shoot both horizontal and vertical photos, I suggest a square format book because it produces a better overall balance between the shape of the book and the photos it holds. So now we have the shape of the photo book, how many photos are you actually going to put in it? As editors, we need to keep our photo book interesting. And so this means having a smaller number of really strong photos. And that's much better than a large number of photos where the quality is diluted by some average images. Try to eliminate photos that are similar and that are technically poor and just show your very best work. If our photo book is going to look its best, we need to give the printer good quality files. So it's back into Lightroom to double check the exposure and colour balance of every shot. Enlarge your files up to 100% and check them thoroughly for sensor spots and minor imperfections. Lightroom has a great spot removal tool. So now we're ready to place all the photos into a book design. Lightroom Classic is a book module that will automatically generate a book design for you. By moving all your photos into a collection, as we discussed earlier, you can just click on the ebook module and it will generate a book design for you. There's an auto layout feature Choose left blank, right one photo for a clean design. Memento also has a great design program which makes the process really easy and then even easier to order the book. If you're using a dedicated design package like InDesign or Memento, you'll need to export your photos from Lightroom first. I'm happy exporting JPEG files, but ensure you use a high quality setting, 80% or higher and Adobe RGB color space. I also output full-size files as the design software will resize the photos automatically. You need a book title, you should also put your name on the cover, and then you can decide if each photo needs a caption, or if you'll write a little introduction up the front of the book, or maybe you'll do both. One advantage with Memento software is that once your book is finished, you can upload it directly to them for printing. However, no matter how you're producing your book, you should output a PDF proof first. Share it with a friend or a family member to check for spelling mistakes and double check yourself that the photos all look fantastic. And essentially, that's it. Of course, you'll find there are lots of other little things to consider, but that's part of the enjoyment of putting together a photo book. If you're interested in reading a little more about setting up your own portfolio project, you can download an ebook I've produced by visiting my website, betterphotography forward slash snaphappy.